Hi guys, this is Ames and welcome to my channel. Yesterday, I posted on my page and IG to ask me some questions about watercolor which I will answer to this video. So, stay tuned! I created a poll of what do you want for the next video so obviously we are going to paint again with watercolor which is a tutorial for a skin tone so here are the materials that we need I am going to use Canson watercolor paper cold press brown watercolor which is recommended for those who are starting in watercolor some round and pointed brushes, water for washing, tape, and tissue. First, kailangan nating i-activate ang water sa ating pan. So, I loaded some water. Usually, sa skin tones, three colors ang palagi kong ginagamit. Red, yellow, and brown. I always experiment with the colors para makuha yung tones na kailangan ko. Madami ka ng magagawang swatch sa kulay na to. So, this is a combination of a red and brown. Mas madaming tubig, mas light, the less water, the more intense the color. So, let's add orange. Mas peachy yung kulay. I sometimes add orange to add orangey tone. If we add yellow, ma-achieve naman natin yung yellowish or light skin tone. Here are more swatches na pwede nating magawa with the colors that we have. Just remember that if you add more red, your tone is reddish or pinkish. Yellow is lighter, which is better for lighter skin tones. The more orange, the more likely to a burnt skin or sun-kissed. And brown naman kung dark skin colors. Pwede ka din gumamit ng blue if you want tones for shadow. Just to avoid using black para maiwasan din yung pagka-intense. You can also use green for more flesh colors like this. You can always create your own swatch, just experiment with the colors you have. So I already prepared a sketch, hindi ko ginawang full face because focus naman tayo sa skin tone. I am using needable eraser to lift the graphite or sketch in our paper. This is to avoid unnecessary sketches on the paper. And using a tape, nilalagyan natin yung sides para maiwasan na magkulubot yung papel. For our first layer, gagamitin natin yung ginawa nating swatch kanina na combination ng red, yellow, and brown. Take note na dapat mas maraming tubig para mas light ang ating layer and to avoid intense color. Remember, the more the water, the lighter the color. The less the water, the intense the color. We are going to cover lahat ng skin. This is to make the skin color even. Take note na kung white yung part ng skin, you can skip covering it. White ang ating paper so it will serve as the highlight. Pag natuyo na ang ating first layer, we may now proceed to the second layer. Same process. Papatungan lang natin para mas maging darker siya compared sa naunang layer. But this time, ia-avoid naman natin yung mas lighter sa second tone. Kung mapapansin nyo, paulit-ulit lang ang gagawin natin. Layering ang ginagawa natin to build our desired skin tone. Iwasan natin na i-paint directly yung intense na kulay because mahihirapan kang mag-undo. Okay lang naman magkamali. Pwede kang gumamit ng tubig to correct pero minsan nakadepende din kung nag-stain yung kulay sa papel. And mahihirapan ka nang matanggal. Shout out nga pala sa mga nag ng questions and concerns nila about watercolor and most of you ay concerned sa skin tone. Carla May Beranya, dark muna tapos light or light to dark? Light po muna 
and layering hanggang ma-build up yung dark tones. Mas better po na unti-unti nating mapatong yung mga kulay for blending and smooth ang output. Melissa De Castro, paano po ma-achieve yung smooth texture sa skin tone? So, kung mapapansin nyo sa ginagawa ko, naglalagay ako ng kulay sa papel. And then, gumagamit naman ako ng brush with clean water para mas smoothen yung texture. Aldwin Ignacio, paano mo po ginagawa yung color sa reference at execute ng maayos yung pag-apply as accurate? So, this is based on the reference. I-identify muna natin yung skin color na ating ginagaya. Siya ba ay madilaw, medyo pinkish, may pagka-sunkiss, or medyo brown. Skin color will affect kung gaano ba kadami ang pigment na iahalo mo sa tone na ia-apply mo naman sa papel. Kung mapapansin nyo, nilagyan ko din ng skin color ang kilay. Para po, pag naglagay tayo ng kilay, walang puti-puti. It will also serve as the shadow of our brows. Mary Jolina Pornobi What are the must things to learn as a beginner in watercolor portrait? Isasabay ko na po yan sa tanong ni Sheila May Capillo. Ma'am Ames, ano nga ba yung mga do's and don'ts when using watercolor, especially in portrait? In portrait, actually sa lahat, importante na alam mo yung tamang gagamitin, like paper. Kasi in watercolor, you are dealing with water. Kailangan mo ng papel na kaya mag-hold ng water at hindi basta-basta magbabakel. Usually, they are thick papers. Yung mga artist na batika na sa watercolor, usually ginagamit nila 400 GSM up like Stratmore because the more thicker the paper, the more that you can put layers. Brush is also a big factor too. They have to be smooth and enough to hold water. Madami pang kailangang alamin sa watercolor. Like, you have to know what the colors to blend, brush techniques, what to do, and what to avoid. So, comment down below if you want a more specific video about the do's and don'ts in watercolor. From Melissa De Castro, ano pong brand ng watercolor paper ang maire-recommend nyo? For me, if you are still practicing, starting, and medyo nagtitipid, you can settle with Fabriano and Canson watercolor paper. But if you want better qualities, ahem, <clears throat> medyo mahal, nandyan si Statmore. Pero, sulit naman ang quality. Just Brainy How much po yung watercolor na ginagamit nyo riyan sa video? Well, I'm not sure kung tinutukoy niya yung sa last video ko, which is the superior watercolor with 48 colors. Nabili ko siya a year ago sa Lazada, 900 pesos, excluding the shipping fee. But I'm not sure if ganun pa rin yung presyo niya ngayon. Well, the prang, I'm not sure with the price, pero mas affordable itong 8 colors. In the 16 colors, price ranges in 500 pesos. It is also equivalent sa 36 colors ng superior watercolor. If you want, I will link them down below. A big shoutout nga pala sa more than 13 years ko ng Prenny sa The Sky. Naitatago ko na lang sa pangalang Traver, Edmond, Fabon, De Torres. Haha! <laughs> If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please help this low-key artist to grow and help other artists by liking, sharing, and hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I upload videos like this. So for the last part of our painting, we are just adding the details and enhancing the tones. So you may also use a white pen for doing some highlights. So that's all guys. I hope na natutunan kayo 
And if you have any suggestions or requests, just leave it down below. guys dun sa ating squirrel hairbrush giveaway so after 48 hours i randomly chose the winner using an app so congrats dantard sanchez hawak niyo na po yung brush at sa mga hindi napili stay updated kasi marami pa tayong giveaway na parating